guys, today's video is going to be a foundation test of the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. You can see I got this for 40% off. I actually bought this when I was on holiday for my cousin's wedding a few months ago now, like almost three months ago now. I bought it in the airport on the way home and I also bought a lip gloss which I'll try out for you as well but the main focus of the video today will be this foundation. I have owned it for a while and still not used it because I have been wanting to film a video of my first impressions of it and like the wear test throughout the day. It is 12 40 p.m now so we do not have a lot of time. Hopefully I'll like you know give it a decent wear test and maybe I'll wash my face at like nine o'clock or ten o'clock tonight. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see how I go. But I've already put on a primer and concealer under my eyes just because like I have quite dark circles so I wanted to give that some extra coverage and because it's a powder foundation you shouldn't really put liquid concealer on top of that. At least I'm pretty sure you shouldn't because I think that would make it go with. But anyway, I got it in the shade Warm Ivory and you can see it comes with like a little spongy do. So I'll be putting it on with this today just because I figure this is how it wants to apply it, how it wants you to use it. <laughs> so let's give it a go. It is a bit messy though. I did notice when I opened the box to look at it. So I'm just going to clean up the edges with my sponge. I bought this from, uh, I think it was like Brisbane airport because I had like a two hour layover when I went to Harvey Bay. So I just kind of went shopping <laughs> and I bought pajamas as well from Peter Alexander because that's what you do when you're in an airport, you spend all your money. <laughs> but this is the foundation that I got. I just, I went up to the stand and there was like 40% off sign. Excuse me, that's the doorbell. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so exciting. A puffle just arrived for me. <laughs> I know exactly what it is, and I'm super excited about it. At least I think I know what it is. I think I, I have an idea. I'll open it in a bit for you. But I just want to put this foundation on so that I can get the longest wear test possible. But anyway, as I was saying before, I bought it on the layover and you know what else do you do on like layovers even though it was only two hours still spent so much money <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit worried though so this was like the last one in stock and I was like oh it's a sign I have to take it I didn't look at the shade she like I saw I think the shade number on the box said like ivory one or something like that it's called warm ivory and I'm more cool toned so I feel like this is gonna like show up pretty funny on me but maybe I'll just use it when I fake tan I'm not sure let's let's put it on and see how we go <laughs> You know what? That's actually not too bad. I feel like that has such good coverage. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. I did actually test out a bloody one-use satchel of a sunscreen today. And I didn't realize when I opened it, it was tinted. So my skin is already a wee bit darker than usual. God, my cheeks are so red from running to the front door to get my parcel. I did just have a shower and I did work out as well, so maybe that's why. That's another reason why I'm so pink. But anyway, <laughs> I'm so not used to wearing powder foundations. Oh, and you know what I didn't do? I never do side by side comparisons. I always forget to do like one side done, one side not done. Idiot. Idiot. like I'm just putting on layer after layer but I feel like I should have before I was like dragging it across my face and I feel like that was dumb because I'd just be removing the other product that I have on so now I'm going with like a dabbing motion these little sponge things creep me out a little bit I just feel like they're really soft and they feel really nice especially when I put them on my face but like I feel like they're like unhygienic my brain's like that's unhygienic I feel like I'm gonna stop there because I feel like I've just been dabbing and dabbing and I'm just unsure if I've done anything wrong <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little close-up for you Oop, wrong way I feel like it looks pretty good so far and very natural you can still see my freckles peeking through and like my under eyes like I feel like I've covered them up quite well with the concealer but I don't know if it's done anything extra but I do feel like it's gone on really well my skin feels so soft oh my gosh I just do feel like I think I might have put more a little bit more on this side and I can kind of see it the tiniest bit sitting around here I don't know if you can see it 
like sitting here whereas this side it just doesn't look like that like should I like happen it out a bit more I'm just gonna go finish off my makeup and then I'll come back to show you how it looks and to say if the other products affected it at all and I'll also pop on my lip gloss with you and I'll show you my present that came for me from me in the mail <laughs> I'll be back in a second okay so I am back. I have completed my makeup and I love the way this foundation looks. I think it's stunning. I All my products went on so well and the setting spray just really cemented it all into my face and it made it look like absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it looks really natural. Like I know it's obviously like a matte sort of finish but I don't feel like it looks overly matte but maybe that's because I like use a dewy sort of setting spray. So that's probably why it looks very natural. But I really like it so far. I did put mascara on my lower lash line as well. So I'll be interested to see like, because it's a powder foundation, how much comes off onto that because I have issues with all my mascaras just run down my eyes for some reason. And I'm intrigued to find out if because it was a powder foundation, maybe it won't do that as much, but I don't know if that's the case we'll see what happens i will be sure to show you but anyway guys let's chuck on the lip gloss i got so i got the bobby brown crushed liquid lip in the shade give a fig and it has the weirdest doe foot applicator i think i've ever seen in my life it's like i've got a little foot thing up the top and then like it goes in so freaking strange but anyway let's put this on it doesn't really have a scent but i could be wrong like it's maybe slightly slightly faint I don't know what a fig smell like, but I'm like, does this smell like a fig? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> okay. So, I really like this. I do not often wear like this sort of color. Oh my god, it almost matches my nails. It's kind of like a ready berry pink maybe it's like a fig color i don't know but i do like it it's really different for me but it's like fun and vibrant and i really like that but i will say i was looking at the internet like i was doing a bit of research on this and it's meant to be like a liquid lip suit cross a gloss i was expecting it to be more glossy than this to be honest with you i feel like it's like sort of like a lip cream sort of vibe is what i'm getting like you can see it's like sort of glossy but it's not like fully like glossy like super lip glossy i definitely feel like it has like a creamy lipstick sort of vibe going on that's how it feels it feels very comfortable oh and i think it's meant to be like a lip balm as well so it was meant to be like a hybrid of the three lip lipstick lip balm and lip gloss and i get it i definitely get it <laughs> but i definitely think it's like if you're going for like what do it feels like on the lips i feel like it feels like a creamy lip stick sort of thing with like a hint of like a balm like maybe like an enriched lipstick is how it feels it's very comfortable it is very comfortable and it feels a little bit slippy but not tacky at all on my lips and you know what it hasn't got on my teeth yet so that's a good sign too <laughs> but anyway guys i will quickly zoom you in as well again sorry you can hear my chair cracking just to show you how it all looks like my foundation that is so much closer than i zoomed you before but anyway let's go with that you can see my slight amount of brow coming in <laughs> But <laughs> so far, so good. I feel like it doesn't even really look cakey between my eyebrows, which is really good considering it's like a powder. And around my nose, I feel like it looks really good so far. So that's awesome. But anyway, guys, I will come back to you later on and we will judge this some more. It is 1.24 now. It took me so long to do my makeup and oh, I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> I opened my parcel and I was so excited for this to come because I've been waiting for it for like weeks because of like coronavirus and everything. Australia Post is running behind, which is completely understandable. And also like a lot of the like places that I buy things are also running behind because like all people can do right now is internet shop as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's all I do. But 
I ordered a plant from a Diz, and I was so excited for it to come, and I'm still excited to have it, but I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed when I opened the box, and it was, like, legit packaged like this, like, it's just, like, a little pot plant, there's, like, no bubble wrap, there's no, none of those, like, big plastic bubbles, and then I pulled it out, and it's got a bloody chip in it, <laughs> so now I'm, like, disappointed i'm gonna have to contact adairs because like obviously i don't want one with like partially broken like that's not fair i want like a pretty one or like a discount come on adairs i was so excited to get her like she's gonna go in the background of my videos for you like for you and me she's a fake plant because i don't know if i could actually like keep a real plant in my bedroom i'm not like a green thumb at all and also I don't get a lot of natural sunlight like this is like 1 30 in the day I'm not gonna lie it's like a very rainy day but still like my window my curtains are open and usually these days I film during the day and I don't get a lot of natural light so I feel like my bedroom would be more of like a graveyard for plants than like a thriving plant utopia so I got a fake plant <laughs> And also, like, plants don't tell you when they need things. Like, pets, like my cat, she screams at me when she's hungry. My plant will not scream at me if it is hungry or thirsty. And to be honest with you, I would probably freak out if it did. Um, <laughs> it doesn't need to, like, tell me when it needs things because it's probably never going to need things. Except for a new bloody pot. Come on, Des. <laughs> Package your shit better. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will be back in an hour or so throughout the day to show you how my foundation is going i'm gonna eat now i'm really hungry it's lunchtime so you know this is probably gonna be ruined because <laughs> i eat like a monster <laughs> anyway bye. i'm back it is now five to ten at night and i'm very tired i'm about to wash my face i've had a pretty rough day i'm not gonna lie I found out some really bad news today, so you can probably tell by the pink of my nose. I have been crying a bit, so I really put the foundation to the test. And I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't super held up under my eyes, and obviously on my nose too, but what can you do if you're wiping your nose a lot? I personally feel like it's done a pretty great job everywhere else. He is hard like to keep the foundation well here because like I eat quite messily so it kind of like rubs off you can kind of see it's rubbed off here and I had concealer on this pimple earlier and like everything's come off there I do lean on my hands quite a lot too but I am actually quite impressed with it like I feel like it's done a really good job it's not lasted super well under my eyes but I mean I cried and also I did go for a little bit of a walk in the rain as well and I got pretty damn wet I'm just gonna zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. See what I'm talking about there? Like, I always get this mascara line here. No matter what mascara I use. And I don't know how to avoid it. This could be though from crying today. Like, it's quite exaggerated. And it's not on this eye. So, I well, know it is a little bit. But it's just very, very dark on this eye. So, I'm not too sure. But I just don't know how to avoid this. I was hoping the powder foundation will help. Maybe on a day where I'm less emotional it will be better but I'm not sure <laughs> okay, I'm leaning forward I feel like it's like the tiniest tiniest bit cakey between my eyebrows now but I feel like often that's a lot worse on foundations with me around this area it gets really cakey and even in like around the nose it's not really bad which like it's a little a little cakey but not really bad but you can see I've taken all of it off here as well like I've lost it here and I've lost it here but I feel like everywhere else oh and here I feel like everywhere else it looks pretty good still is it just me or does like this side of my face look more made up than this side I wonder if that's because remember when I put this side on I thought that I put more on this side and then this side I feel like I don't have as much contour or blush on still and even the highlight I feel like it's a bit more reflective on this side I'm not 100% sure, but maybe that's because I did feel like I'd caked it on a bit more on this side than this side originally, so maybe it's held up better on this side. I definitely would recommend this foundation. Like, you can see for yourself how it looks on my skin. 
I actually really like it. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to zoom you back out. As I said before, I've been emotional for the majority of my wearing it now. And I did walk in the rain. So I have put it to the test to a degree. And of course, am I eating like an animal? And I forgot to reapply my lip gloss. I took that off almost straight away as well because I had lunch and I didn't want to get it all over my face and ruin the foundation. But I've managed to like ruin it via other means anyway <laughs> if you're looking for a powder foundation i would definitely recommend it if you think it's like worn reasonably well on my face <laughs> which i do i'm obviously gonna have to keep trying it this was my first time trying it but i honestly think that i would repurchase this and i think next time i use it though i might try and like use it with a brush instead of a little sponge thing or even just one of my own sponges or maybe i'll just clean the little sponge that it came with so i feel less unhygienic <laughs> I really liked it and I really liked this. It felt really, really comfortable and it made my lips feel really nice. So I would definitely buy one more of these, more colors than this, like a more nude color maybe next time. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything that I did or any of the products that I used, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you would like to like this video or subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that too. And hopefully I will see you soon. Hi guys, today's... You can see, like, you can still see my freckles, my pickles. Possibly. So I'm going to zoom you back out.